Hi there, my name is Christian and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to access your online course here at Santa Barbara City College. So we're going to begin this process by simply logging into our pipeline account. That's the page I have open here. My computer already has my login info saved, so I am just going to access that and click login. Sometimes this single sign-on portal page will appear. In my experience, it doesn't always, but if it does, we're going down to the bottom left, clicking pipeline portal, and then we are brought to the pipeline homepage. We're next going to scroll up to the top right-hand side of the page until we see the word Canvas next to this red icon. We're going to click that. And at this point, we are brought to our dashboard. The first thing I want to say is that at this dashboard, if it just shows nothing here, or it might say nothing for now, please don't be alarmed. Essentially, there's a lot of reasons that can happen, but one of the simplest reasons is just that your course likely hasn't been opened yet in its Canvas shell. So what, what we're seeing here where it says first year guides, we call these Canvas shells. Each online course will generally have one. And let's say you just added your course maybe last week, but it's not starting for a couple weeks. I would say more likely than not, there probably is not going to be a Canvas shell opened yet by the instructor. Instructors will often open the shell maybe a couple days before the course starts, maybe the night before, sometimes even the day of the course. What you'd want to do though is if the course has already begun and it's still showing nothing here, at that point you're going to want to write to your instructor via the pipeline email and just ask them why that is the case. They should be able to help you figure that out. But for the purposes of our tutorial, the course I'm going to be clicking on is First Year Guides. This will be my online course. After I click on that, I am brought to a home page where I am seeing some really helpful information about my course. I'm scrolling down and the instructor Margaret here has gone ahead and made all this really nice looking info to help me understand the online course. There's a Zoom link, which it looks like I could go ahead and click on. And if I preferred, I could also put the meeting ID into Zoom underneath the sessions time uh, and days are, are written so that's pretty clear and there is an assignment here I could click on if I needed to do it uh, there appears to be a link to a discussion there's a lot of different things within canvas I'm not going to be really getting too into them for the purpose of this tutorial the main thing to keep in mind though is that all these things could look pretty different depending on what the instructor has in mind so for example, the Zoom meetings, which are often important if a course is synchronous, meaning if an online course meets at specific times. While Margaret went ahead and put them here on this nice Zoom link on the homepage, others instru other instructors could choose to instead put them over on the left-hand side, and it could say something along the lines of Zoom meetings in one of these sections here. That's just something to keep in mind as far as accessing the course if it is synchronous. If the course is asynchronous, meaning that it does not have any set meeting times, there likely is not going to be any information about Zoom meetings because the course likely does not have any Zoom meetings if it's asynchronous. But I can go ahead and click on announcements here. I can see that the instructor Margaret wrote an announcement to everyone. I can see there is some modules here if I wanted to go ahead and look into those. This would essentially be a place that if the course had assignments, they would often be under modules. But again, we're not getting too into this for the purpose of this video, just because a lot of this can depend a lot on how the instructor wants to organize it. Finally, though, that's, that's really going to be the basics of how to access your online course. We try to keep it pretty simple here at Santa Barbara City College. And that's really going to do it for this tutorial. So once again, my name is Christian. I thank you for your time and attention, and I wish you the very best with your time here at Santa Barbara City College.